how I got on this path and why I decided that one person can make a difference. And I know for a lot of you, sometimes it can feel like you're doing it solo, you're struggling to see the impact that you're having. Uh, but I promise if you're doing positive things, they are having an impact, absolutely and unquestionably. Um, so how I came to that conclusion, it was a bunch of little things, but the main part of it was um, joining the Plastic Free July Challenge. I did some training uh, on climate change and I did the Plastic Free July Challenge back in 2014. And it really opened my mind up. But I was like, oh my gosh, there's like, there's all this stuff, there's all these things that I could be doing more. And so when I moved to Cambodia in late 2014, I thought, well, if it had such a big impact on me, maybe it can have that kind of an impact on other people as well. Um, and before I knew it, People were asking me to come and speak with their staff. First and foremost was a training restaurant uh, whom I now do training with a couple of times per year and additionally um, have become really close with the entire team. Um, and that's really, that was really beautiful. It also has led me to having worked with um, directly and indirectly 15,000 people. Uh, that's through events, that's through workshops, that's my team. I've had volunteers and I've got freelance staff at the moment along the way. Um, and that's the impact that we've had, but it started from me. And I've always felt really uncomfortable about that. In fact, in the very early days, I always put Plastic Free Cambodia, which is what we we christened this as, it was it was we, it was volunteer led, it was the people, and I didn't want to show my face because I felt like it's a community, um, it's a community thing. And as I've got along, I've realised that actually a lot of people are inspired by my actions and what I'm doing. And whilst that has felt uncomfortable. It's also really important because it shows that one person can make a difference and it doesn't matter if it's me, it doesn't matter if it's you, um, you can also make a difference and it's really not that hard when you follow your heart. Um, so I'd love to hear from you. Can you relate to this? Does this make sense? Are you in a place at the moment where you feel like you'd like to be making a difference but you can't really see it? Um, what would be great is if you go over on the Facebook homepage, there's a link to um, sign up to receive emails from me. And that's where I will share more of these kind of stories and help you along the way to making a bigger difference as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed my brief history of how I got here from Plastic Free Cambodia to Plastic Free with Sarah and a few other steps in between. Um, it's more than just plastic though. Um, hey Heiko! Uh, it, it's, it's so much more and it can help us um, come to grips with decisions around so many things and feel confident with them and less worried about the state our environment's in. Um, and I think we're all pretty worried, especially at the moment. Um, and whilst we can't, um, we can't do everything, we can do some things. And it's about taking that, that into our hands and doing the things that we can, which also helps to calm our minds and helps us to feel like we are contributing. And then when, when life starts going back to something like normal down the track in the future, we'll, we'll be well equipped for, um, you know, stepping up our levels of environmental actions as well. Um, for, the, for the immediate future, things are, are really uncertain and that's another reason why I want to hop on and do more live sessions, do more of those Zoom calls uh, and just find ways to connect with you so you don't feel like you're 
alone um, and feeling frustrated or anything like that. I want you to feel connected, uh, calm, assured, knowing that you're doing your best or knowing the steps that you need to take to, to get there. So that's it from me today. Thanks for signing in. Um, as always, feel free to ask questions, leave comments and for the Friday um, Zoom calls, if you've got a topic you want discussed, like send me a message and um, we'll put it into the schedule. Uh, I've got the first two Fridays booked out, so there's, um, there's Facebook events for both of those and, um, and we'll go from there. So yeah, have a beautiful week. Keep in touch with friends and family as, as best you can. We're going to practice physical distancing, not emotional distancing. So we're going to spread out and stick together, right? Keep your distance, but keep people in your hearts. Chat on, online and look after each other. And um, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.